the laws of exponents. The goal of this video tutorial is to understand the three laws of exponents that people usually learn their first year of algebra. The rule on the screen, this rule, when you have an exponent raised to an exponent, a to the b, and when you have um, this situation on the screen. Um, this video tutorial can be found in our webpage mathwarehouse.com slash exponents and there's a bunch of other goodies there including a free uh, worksheet um, and some other sample problems. Okay, so let's first look at this rule and as, first off let's make sure we're clear on some terms here. If we have 3 to the second power the exponent is 2 and the base is 3. This first rule is pretty general and let's um, let's work our way to to that. Let's say we have x squared and we're going to multiply that by x to the third. Let's think about what that means. x squared really means that we have x times x. Right? So I'm just rewriting x squared. And x cubed really means that we have x times x times x. So all I did was rewrite these without the exponents. And you hopefully know that we can rewrite this as x times x times x. And what, lo and behold, what do we have? We have x to the fifth. There's one, two, three, four, five x's. So what did we do to the two and the three? We added them, right? x to the two plus three is our answer x to the fifth and that is the explanation behind why x to the a times x to the b equals x to the a plus b. So to make sure you're comfortable with that let's look at um let's get a few others. Let's say we had this x to the seventh times x to the fourth. Let's try a few different ones. Let's try this and let's try y to the fifth times y to the ninth. Let's also try y to the fifth plus y to the eleventh. All right, well, by the same logic as that prior problem, we could write these out as seven x times itself seven times and x times itself four times. But we know now the shortcut is just to add the exponents x to the seventh times x to the fourth is x to the 7 plus 4 or x to the 11th. Same here. y to the 5th times y to the 9th. Just add the 5 and the 9, you've got y to the 14th. Then we have this here, y to the 5th plus y to the 11th. Unfortunately, there's nothing that we can do here. Our rule applies when we are multiplying, right? So if you're adding there's nothing you can do. I mean, you, you just have to rewrite this. Y to the fifth plus y to eleventh. There's no simplifying that can be done. All right, so I just um, threw this last example in there so that you were aware of the fact that we that must be multiplying like bases. And if you look back at our example, that was the situation we had here, right? This was a multiplication symbol. So you must have a multiply symbol here, and you must have like bases. Here we had x to the second and x to the third, a like base of x, multiplying them, so it's just x to the two plus three. All right, so then what about this rule here? Here we have x to the a to the b equals x to the a times b. This can be also explained, you'll also see this once we look at a quick example. If I have x to the second to the third, we can rewrite this as x to the second times x to the second times x to the second, right? That's x to the second to the third. We've got x to the second times itself three times. And then we can further rewrite this as x to the x times x times x times x times x times x. And like before, we can get rid of these parentheses and lo and behold, we have x to the six. There's one, two, three, four, five, six of them. So when you have an, ex an exponent that you're raising to an exponent, just think about what we did with the two and the three to get six. We multiplied them. It equals x to the second times three. X to the two times three, or x to the sixth. 
Okay, so let's look at, uh, let's do a few practice ones here just so you get comfortable with it. Y to the seventh to the, f I'm sorry, this is really messy. Let me rewrite that. Y to the seventh to the third, um, K to the fourth to the fifth. And just apply our rule here, y to the 7 times 3, or y to the 21st. And here it's just going to be k to the 4 times 5, or k to the 20. Okay, so our last rule, x to the a over x to the b equals x to the a minus b. Let's use some specific examples to make this a little clearer. Let's say we've got x to the 5th. And here we have x to the second. Let's, let's expand it out. x times x times x times x times x over x times x. Now you may notice that we have some um, factors here that we can get rid of. x over x, x over x. So we are left with x times x times x over 1 or just x to the third. So uh, what's the shortcut for getting that? You just do x to the 5 minus 2, <coughs> whatever's on top, minus whatever's on bottom. So if you had something like k to the 14th over k to the 3rd, we can just use our shortcut rule here and say k to the 14th minus 3 which is k to the 11th. All right, so let's look at four problems that ask you to think, to kind of synthesize all four rules here. Why to the second times y to the seventh? Why to the second to the seventh? Why to the 50th over y to the fourth? Why, oh, sorry, why to the 10th? Why to the fourth plus y to the second? Okay, remember the first one here. This is that first rule, so it's just y to the two plus 7, or y to the 14. I'm sorry, y to the 9, y to the 9. Here, let's exponent to an exponent, so you multiply exponents and you get y to the 14th. Here is the subtraction one, if you remember, y to the 50th minus 10, which is going to be y to the 40th. And what about this one? There's nothing you can do here. Remember, the r rules we learned did not involve plus sign here. And there is no shortcut for that. These are uh, not like terms, so you can't do anything with them. They're just, it's just y to the 4th plus y to the 20th cannot be simplified. So that's all we can do is rewrite it if it makes you feel a little better. Alright, well, that's it for an introduction to the, um, the laws of exponents. If you would like more practice as well as a free worksheet with an answer key, go to mathwarehouse.com slash exponent rules.